Happy Monday everybody, Jordan Trask here and I am on day six. I made it day six so far, almost one week on the 25 days of Christmas. And for today, I ended up drawing a boat retailer for the business industry that I'm gonna be focusing on for a holiday strategy. So for those of you that haven't been watching so far this week, I'm basically coming up with a creative strategy for Christmas that helps people drive revenue. Maybe not necessarily has to do with Christmas, but we're thinking things through to discover and uncover uh, what potential customers are doing, what could be uh, realistic or ideal value propositions uh, or uh, anchors or uh, weighted uh, communication for certain businesses that can draw, uh, not just draw revenue or draw in uh, attention or recognition and stuff like that or humor, right? I did an initial video a couple weeks ago and you still wanna be uh, try to focus on cheap, lazy, or, you know, deals, uh, or humor for the holidays, uh, just because, you know, there's a lot of value that can be had. So anyways, without rambling too much here and, and just jumping right in, I'm totally spitballing this, uh, trying to think of some creative ways to get a boat retailer some traction during the holidays. And I think this is a really good one because there's not a lot of people, I mean, just on average across the country that are out on the lake right now. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm even in here in Mississippi, I'm kind of in the south. Um, I'd probably go fishing today, but most pe people wouldn't. Uh, and you know, you go a little, just a little bit more north, it's a lot more cold. And you know, most of the most of the population in the U.S. is on the East Coast, and they ain't out on the water. <laughs> um, so, uh, how how do you position something like this during the holidays? And you think you know, typically people that want boats want to buy a boat or considering buying a boat. Uh, they probably already have that in their mind. Maybe it's a dream, maybe it's a goal, right? Maybe it's something that they're uh, aspiring to be able to do. Maybe they already have a boat, maybe they wanna upgrade, but typically when it comes to a purchase like this, just like a vehicle or an RV or something like that, a trailer, even just a basic trailer, you wanna be able to save up because it's not a small purchase. You wanna be able to have some dominoes fall uh, in order to pull that trigger. I don't think it's just something that somebody wakes up on a Saturday and wants to go buy a boat, right? It's kind of a really, uh, a long game. Uh, the sales cycle is a lot longer. So these are all things that we want to think about. And then what, what all of a sudden causes somebody, what thought process or a life event, life changing event causes somebody to all of a sudden, oh, you know, I want to buy a boat. Um, you know, maybe that's empty nesters. Maybe you have a kid that graduates. Uh, and they're they're leaving the house, or maybe graduates college, or uh, maybe you get a divorce. You know you don't really want to try to take advantage of those type of life altering changes, but uh, that would probably be another one too. You got a, a a guy that's maybe in his forties. His kids grow up. He gets a divorce, and he's kind of free for the. I don't want to say that, but he's uh, he's not married for the first time. Doesn't have kids in the house. That responsibility for the first time in you know twenty years, twenty some odd years. And he might go out and splurge a little bit, buy a boat, buy an RV, who knows. Uh, and the the point of all this is I'm not right, really trying to nail down a specific customer audience. Uh, I mentioned this in some of the other past videos just because that's something I would do with the client. Um, and in this case, you know, it's all spitball and all hypothetical. I had literally spit right there. Um, so we don't want to try to... Uh, to uh, exclude anybody that could potentially benefit from this type of dialogue or this type of discussion or video. Um, so let's try to think of a creative spin on this because nobody's really going to be searching to buy a boat for Chris. Well, I don't want to say nobody, but most people, most Americans uh, are not going to be looking to buy a boat in December in the holidays. So, um, you know, obviously some people will, you know, maybe if you're down in the South or Arizona, where I used to live or, or Southern California, or, you know, maybe you got a house in Mexico. You could, there's all kinds of ways we could target, but for the most part, we're going to focus on an awareness campaign that gets people thinking to go ahead and, and pull that trigger on a the boat. They're already thinking about the purchase. They already want the purchase. And there's just a little added reminder, right? To, to, uh, elicit that thought and then push somebody towards a certain brand or business that they can remember, right? Uh, that, that we're gonna create a memory with marketing so that when that decision finally comes to be made that that business or brand, the boat retailer, if I don't even know if that's what you would call it, boat dealer, um, comes to mind, is in front and center, 
the ads bookmarked, the website's bookmarked, it gets written down, uh, or memory, you know, it's embedded in the memory is even better. So, you know, just thinking about everything that's going on right now, uh, in this holidays, second holiday season that we're kind of in a pandemic, I guess, if that's what you would call it, um, all people dying everywhere, right? So not a lot of people are, not as many people are uh, active, right? A lot more people are staying home. But, you know, a lot of people, a lot more people uh, are starting, you know, to go back to to old life um, uh, and try to reject this new normal type thing. Um, but at the end of the day, people uh, are spending a lot more time online, shopping, uh, needs awareness, needs recognition phases of the customer cycle, um, brand, brand recognition, like we're saying, uh, and especially during the holidays. Um, so... People that are, you know, let's 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 do a boat dealer retailer down in Florida. Let's let's just focus on that because you know a lot of people buy boats year round, and the reason why we're going to do a holiday campaign this this year and when we typically wouldn't is because uh, the way society is now, I'm just kind of tying this together. Stay with me, <laughs> and a lot of people are moving south. A lot of people from New York, New Jersey, uh, uh, Maine, even. Uh, maybe not as much in Maine, but Vermont, uh, Virginia, New Hampshire, all these places that, uh, you know, have kind of had a, a culture shock a little bit. They're moving south. I know this because I've talked to general contractors down in Florida. I've talked to home builders. I've talked to uh, realtors down in Florida that, you know, it's not as popular as some places like Arizona is right now. I mean, it, it is, but as far as... Uh, the limitations and stuff it's not as bad um, but the market is is kicking in gear and most of it has to do with people that are from the high east coast moving moving down so i think it would be really wise to take advantage of it who knows when this will happen again this migration and it'd be cool to have like some jersey boys or some 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 lifer lifetime new yorkers right that have just born bread full flavor uh you know deep dish pizza <laughs> of New York, if, that, if that's what you want to say. It's a full mouth, full bite of the culture. Um, that typical person, no, you don't know what you're talking about. Get out of here. And they move down to Florida. Maybe they hate Florida, uh, but they move down anyways just because they can't take New York anymore. And um, I think a really effect, and when you really think of it's expensive to live down in Florida, but it's not as expensive as most people think. It's not as even as expensive as Arizona, Phoenix right now. Um, but if some somebody's moving down to Florida, they're gonna save some money. They're gonna uh, not have to pay so much for food. They're not going to pay so much for transportation. Uh, they're gonna have extra time on their hands because there's not as much traffic. They're gonna be able to have more leisure time uh, to maybe make more money, right? And a boat is one of those things, you know, you're down in the Everglades, you're down uh, where there's a lot more water uh, uh, that's, you know, open, right? Instead of the city life is what I mean. That's that's per capita, per person. There's probably a lot more water land available to go roam. Uh, you might consider buying a boat. And so say maybe you move down there in November this past month, right before Thanksgiving. You're getting used to stuff. You really love the weather. You're like, man, this is a lot better than I thought. Boom, you see a video on Facebook or a local TV commercial um, on just not a prime time spot, just a basic spot uh, where this target audience, people that move down are specifically, something that they're specifically watching, um, uh, something that they specifically do, we're gonna target them, that specific person on that. Uh, and uh, try, to, try to, you know, we're still carrying that wide net approach of we're not nailing down a specific person, like a white male, 40, 45 years old with Two college kids uh, just sold his house, just divorced. You know, we're not nailing it down that far, but somebody that just migrated, potentially a family, potentially a single guy, potential older, uh, uh, an older woman, uh, potentially a business, you know, business owner. Uh, there's tons of options. Maybe a, a college graduate that's just, man, I can't, I got to get out of the city life, move down, bought their first house, uh, saved a lot of money. I think, you know, coming across a, a boat commercial, you can have, whoa, 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 that guy, that the uh, auction guy is speaking real fast, you know, yelling all these value propositions. You should buy a boat. You should buy a boat. Do this, do this, do this. Try this, try this. Look at this feature, that feature. Wow, 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 the end. Uh, stop by. You know, that's how typical commercials, uh, especially for sales, car sales especially, 
that's how it is. You know, check this out. This is new. This is new, blah, blah, blah. And so that's probably may not be appealing unless you're in the market actively searching for a boat, right? And you know you want a boat. Um, that might that might grab your attention a little bit to be able to say, oh, he's talking about boats. Uh, what What's going on here? But if, if you just move down and you realize that you want a boat and then you just move down and you don't even realize that you want a boat and you can afford a boat yet and you hear this commercial of literally telling your story, right? Let's do that. Let's do a, a TV commercial of... Uh, a couple guys, families, maybe young families, say my age, about 35, 40 years old, just moved down, like I said before, New York lifers, brought the whole family down, and uh, they totally invested in, in the Florida lifestyle, dumped everything that they were doing uh, before, the lifestyle that they had, fully immersed in the Florida lifestyle, and we're going to do a video of them completely enjoying it. Maybe a couple families moved down, they're all out on the water enjoying time, sending their buddy a video that's back in New York and we, we go back, pan back to this other guy that's in New York we're talking about the commercial now. And um, you got a guy with his snow blower and a uh, snow plow in the front of his truck, gloves, jacket, boots, hand warmers, heater running on the inside, windows not open. We're gonna we're gonna list off as many things that we can to have a price tag on them. Snow blower ding, two thousand, three thousand dollars Snow plow, ding, $1,500 bought new. Heat, 80 bucks a month. Gloves, check, you know, we're gonna go down and list all these prices that, that we can keep pulling up on the screen that show this guy miserable, doesn't have free time to go even out, enjoy himself because he has to plow the driveway. Can't go to work, can't make money. Wife's mad. Kids are sitting at the window waiting for him to get done. Miserable, just completely miserable in the cold. And then we pan back to these guys out on the lake, on their boats, hooting and hollering, and having a good old time with their family. Swimsuit, $12, right? And that's all that they're wearing, sunglasses, sandals. And we're doing a nice comparison here to not only maybe pull people down to Florida, right? It's like a recruiting video, but also to show people, hey, this life down here is better than the life you were living. You made a good choice. Get out on the water, or maybe you're not. You haven't quite made the decision yet. Now your buddies can send this video to you that they came across to on came across on social media. That Haha, I can really relate. This made me think of you, buddy. And you literally have a, a, a guerrilla marketing or a grassroots campaign going on based on humor and relevancy and something that people can identify with, right? And maybe even throw some some humor in the back at the tail end of the video where you have them actually opening their gifts on the boat. They love they love the boat so much they're just out on this boat all the time as family with their with new friends or old friends that move down with them that you got the son, 15-year-old son driving the boat now. You know, woo with his glasses on and then dad's back there trying to open his Christmas gift and the the wrapping paper's flying everywhere hitting mom in the face, the, the baby in the face and but they're they're having a great time because it's beautiful outside. They have minimal clothing and they're not in the cold or, or shoveling their driveways anymore. And I just think that would be a cool way just thinking right now, tying in the times, tying in the market, and still being able to, to capture the market of people that didn't move down to be able to say, yeah, I can also identify with this Joe Schmo moved down the street from me, but he's a good guy. He got a boat too. I'm going to share this with him. Anyways, just one of those cool stories that you could reach so many different people with and then obviously have the humane uh, be humane at the end or environmental. How do you go green a little bit too and, and capture those type of people and make sure that the the son driving the boat or the people driving the boat turn back around maybe for the credits or whatever contact information of the video and they're back scooping out the the trash or the wrappers of their, their gift wrapping that got into the lake with maybe the warden sitting right there, uh, you know, giving them a hard time because you know, he knows they're New Yorkers, maybe, you know, throw some humor in there or something like that, that, um, uh, just, it's just an added flavor. It just gives them an extra memory, especially right there when the brand is about to pop on the screen, right? With the, with the contact information and stuff, something in the background that's still entertaining that people can relate to that, Hey, you're having fun, you're having this, but you still have a responsibility. You still can't just be going crazy when you come down to Florida. So, um, I don't know if that makes sense. You know, these are just really, like I said, off the cuff, just super random, just jumping on here, trying to spend more FaceTime uh, online. 
uh, and show what I could do and, and some of the things that we run through. And, you know, as always, make sure when you're doing something like this, or you're creating a new campaign, you're able to track it, measure it, uh, and, uh, you know, see what your actual return is, how much you spent, you spend 10,000 on it. You gotta be able to understand that this is, a, this could be an evergreen strategy. How are you capturing leads, right? There's multiple ways you can capture leads with a video. And then how are you making sure that you're able to monetize it and be able to say, okay, this lead or this boat sale was from this video. And the good thing with a video like this with, with a boat dealer is, you know, you can go all, you big on a production project. Uh, I, I mean, in my opinion, you could spend ten twenty thousand dollars $20,000 and get something really nice, a video production, be able to have little pieces of it that you could break down and share uh, in social media, like little snippets or even little bloopers and stuff that all funnel back to the web page that has the video on it, the ad campaign, the landing page, or that funnels back to the YouTube channel itself with a CTA call to action that allows you to capture leads. But um, one sale, right, one or two sales can easily, uh, you know, make you your money back uh, if, if, if you sell boats. Um, so, you know, think about that stuff. Uh, you know, there's, there's so many ways, you know, when it comes to, to local marketing uh, to be able to attract people beyond the boundaries of your business, the local reach, right? And, and being smart with, you know, how, how can you target people that aren't in my boundary area, my, my local reach, but may, but will be, I think that, that type of stuff is extremely uh, powerful as far as when it comes to re a return, because, um, like I always say in all my videos, uh, as many touch points as you can have and in as many different type of customers that you can reach the better. And, uh, for obvious reasons. So um, if you got any questions, um, anything I maybe missed, any additional ideas, whatever, drop them in the comment here. And otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for day number seven. Be purposeful with everything you do and always remember to pre-focus.